Hello everyone, uh, my name is Joel, I'm an educator here at Discovery Place, and I wanted to share with you a few uh, Halloween tips for some spooky special effects that you can do with dry ice. Uh, dry ice is a generally a pretty popular thing to use around uh, Halloween time for some effects, and um, we've got some uh, little twists on what you may have been seen before uh, in order to uh, spruce up your, your house for the scary holiday. So uh, first thing I need to talk about with dry ice, because it is so very cold, we need to talk about safety. So I have some special gloves that we use around the museum when we're dealing with things like dry ice or liquid nitrogen, um, but I prefer for this sort of thing our Kevlar gloves. These are great because they're relatively thin and they still provide a good amount of protection, so I don't have to worry about burning my hands, but I also don't need to worry about dropping everything. Good. So dry ice is really, really cold. It's about 100 degrees below zero Fahrenheit, actually a little bit colder. Um, and it is carbon dioxide. Now carbon dioxide, the same chemical that comes out of your body when you breathe out and out of the tailpipe of your car while it's running. Um, but if you get it cold enough, again, about 110 degrees below zero Fahrenheit, it does actually freeze into a solid form. Now the interesting thing about dry ice is it's dry. When it melts, it doesn't turn back into a liquid like water does. It turns directly from a solid into a gas. So that's not actually melting. That's called sublimation. Um, now, because it's so cold and because it produces a gas as it melts, we can do some cool effects with it. It's very popular to add dry ice to a beverage in order to produce a bubbling kind of science fiction-y or uh, laboratory effect. And that's all well and good. But the problem is because dry ice is so cold, you really have to worry about accidentally pouring it into your friend's beverage. If they were to drink it and get it into their mouth, it could do some serious harm. So here's a tip. Use a French press. The French press will trap the dry ice under the liquid, and when you go to pour some off, you don't have to worry about accidentally pouring it into your friend's drink. So you can see we still have the nice bubbling effect, but the dry ice is trapped underneath the, uh, the filter for the French press. So you can see the dry ice is sublimating away at the bottom here. The bubbles are rising up and the bubbles are able to pass through the screen. So the French press does a great job of keeping the dry ice trapped underneath while allowing those bubbles to percolate through. I don't have any worry for accidentally pouring dry ice in my friend's drink. Now you might wonder how cold the drink is. If I drop one of my digital thermometers on it, I started at about 68 degrees. I've only dropped the temperature about maybe 10 degrees or so with dry ice having been in there for about five minutes. So the temperature of the beverage is not a safety issue either. Now another thing about this is this actually may look like fruit punch, but it's really just water with food coloring. That being said, by adding the dry ice, yeah, it has a new flavor. So it's gotten a little tart, a little sour, um, for the same reason that club soda has a flavor. So club soda is just water with uh, carbon dioxide dissolved in it with the bubbles. Whenever you put carbon dioxide into water, the carbon dioxide actually dissociates and becomes carbonic acid. Carbonic acid has a little bit of a sour, tart taste. So for the same reason that club soda has a bit of a flavor to it, even though it just has bubbles in it, by dropping dry ice into whatever drink you want, you actually increase the acidity and give it a little bit of a flavor. Okay, so another thing you might be looking to do around Halloween is produce some kind of spooky sound effects. So you can do that with dry ice also. All you need is a piece of dry ice and something like a spoon or a uh, butter knife, maybe a metal ruler, something that's metal and flat. So I have a glass of hot water here. The hotter my spoon, the better the sound effects it seems. We just press it to the dry ice. <laughs> so what we're seeing here, or hearing I suppose, is as the gas from the dry ice is escaping the surface, it's pressing against the spoon and pushing it away, causing it to vibrate. Now it takes some practice and a little bit of experimentation, but you can get all sorts of sound effects. Screeches, groans, screaming banshee noises, things that sound like groaning Frankenstein. Whatever you're looking for, you can pull it off. Uh, let me try it with this big bowl too. Usually again, the warmer your material or warmer the, the metal, the better. So, give this a
to try at home. You can definitely experiment around and find some new and exciting ways to mess around with dry ice. But again, I have to reiterate the safety thing. Gloves, hand protection, at the very least use a pair of pliers or tongs to move your dry ice around, otherwise you're at the risk of giving yourself frostbite. Alright, thanks again for watching and have a safe and happy Halloween from Discovery Place. <laughs>